So hello, I'm here with Christopher Lillington Martin of Ooh. the University of Bristol and doing an MA there. Is that MA, right? yeah. That's sponsored by the Arts and Humanities Research Council. Yes, I've been very fortunate there. Um, Chris, would you like to tell us what it is that you're working on? Who is it? You know, where they come from? Okay, well, um, part of the Masters obviously is a, is a dissertation and I've chosen the topic of a, a historian called Procopius and I want to look at the way that he composed his, um, his uh, one of his works, Secret History. And who is Procopius? Well, Procopius was a sort of early to mid-6th century historian. 6th century... AD. AD. CE, so, if you prefer. Okay, so um, we're, we're, we're getting quite modern then, if it's 6th well, century uh, AD. Yes, it's, it's quite modern if you're talking classics. It's, <laughs> it's quite old if you're talking history. <laughs> It's on the cusp of classics and medieval history. And, and where does he come from? Well, he was uh, from uh, Caesarea in Palestine, as was, um, and he was born at the turn of the 5th, 6th century. Okay. I should explain that the, the, the secret history is everything which um, Procopius didn't put in his, his published works of the wars. Right, so you've got the, the official history. You've got the, 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 the published history yeah. and, and, and the bits that he left out, which he then came to write up but as far as we know, it was never published. And is it, this is the secret history? This is then, known as the secret history. Yeah, um, the, the, I think the, the later Eastern Romans, or Byzantines, if you will, called it the, ana the anecdota, the, the unpublished works. Right. But um, it's become known, it's, it's well known now as, as the secret yeah, history. Yeah, it has a sexier title. Well, this is the thing, it has a sexier <laughs> title, and of course there's lots of slur and lots. There's, there's a sufficient amount of sex in it. <laughs> <laughs> there is a sufficient amount of sex in it to make it interesting, and um, a lot of university courses if they um, do teach uh, something Procopius, invariably it's the Secret History Penguin Edition, which is on the reading list. Right. Um, I don't know whether that's because <laughs> uh, it has certain elements which might appeal. I don't know, but anyway, that, there it is. That's where. Well, what's your angle on uh, Procopius? I'm very interested in, in how he constructed his narrative. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, I'm doing a master's, not a not a not a, not a doctorate, not yet anyway. Um, so. I wouldn't want to be looking at um, the way he composed the entirety of his works. And we've got you know, the, the published histories, which I think are something like eight books. Yeah. So it's as long as for us, it's inclusively, if not longer. Um, you've got the secret history, which is uh, perhaps an eighth of that. You've also got another uh, book on so-called buildings, where he praises the emperor. So I've selected one of those, the secret history. And what I want to do is look at the secret history and look at how it was composed. There's um, several uh, examples of um, quotes from Aristophanes, for example, mm -hmm. um, and so I want to look at what, where Procopius uses these quotes within the Secret History, which in itself can be divided up into three parts, um, and may in fact um, be not one book but three or possibly two. Uh, recent research by Anthony Candelis suggests that um, it's probably it was probably originally meant to be in two, in two parts, it's just been put together because, you know, the, as it was, you know, it was secret, it was unpublished, whenever it was found it was put together and, and, and uh, classified um, in, I think, 10th to 11th century by the, the compiler of the Suda um, as unpublished works. But even though it's unpublished, you are saying that actually that it's still put together in a, in a very uh, interesting way, and yeah. that it has lots of allusions and references to previous material, so, including, surprisingly to me, at least uh, Aristophanes. What's Aristophanes yeah. doing there? Well, um, I don't know is the answer. I think, I mean, it could be anything from he was planting um, quotes, uh, references to Aristophanes and other uh, Homer, Herodotus, yeah. these are these, um, on purpose to entertain his readers, it may be that it was almost sort of part of his education that somebody of his um, class, and again we don't know the full details, but he must have been from a, you know, he, to have gone through a legal education, he must have had um, a background where he'd had a relatively expensive classical education, um, which would have included the study of, study of the classics, the then classics, which, um, after his legal training and becoming um, uh, uh, an advisor to a general who became a famous general, and being his employee for approximately 15 years, 
Um, and then we don't really know what Prokofius did in the, in the sort of mid to late five forties, apart from compose these these yeah. these these books. So it may be that the reason why these um, quotes and references come through in his writing, it could be because it's just part of his education. It's also because he's writing a classicising history, so is it his audience will expect him right. to so do it. Very like self-conscious. Self-consciously placing his own work in the book. Um, particularly interested that this is not the official history, this is if you like the, the kind of the alternative version mm. and that one of his um, inspirations for that one person he's going back to for that is Anastasia. So mm. it's, it's colouring the work in a particularly interesting way. It seems. Yeah, I mean, to, 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 a, to a sufficient extent that the Suda actually classified um, when, obviously, when they described um, various classical works, when it came to Prokofiev's secret history, they classified it under two headings. Partly invective, because of the sort of things he, he says, Accusing Belisarius of all sorts of uh, sins, right. um, <clears throat> um, Antonina and his wife of, of things probably even worse, including witchcraft. Um, the Empress Theodora mm -hmm. has been as having come up from one of the lowest professions and the lowest of the low. So he has a go at the Empress. Uh, well. And the, and the, the Emperor, the Emperor is a demon. The Empress is uh, from the class, the lowest possible class of prostitute. Um, she may well have been some kind of courtesan. I don't. You know, who knows? But he 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 really goes to town. He's not putting any punches. He doesn't pull any at all. Um, but apart from being classified as an in, as inventive, the Suda actually classifies the secret history also as comedy. Right. So, well, which obviously has a very close association with inventive. Anyway. Yes. So, particularly out of the Exactly. Yeah, so it, yeah. there is this thing. You know, is it did Procopius? We'll never know what he meant it to be, especially if it's meant if it was divided if it's divided into three parts and it may have been intended to be, you know, one or two books, or possibly more. You know, did he mean it to be funny? Did he mean it to be just invective? Was he just getting things off his chest that he kept bottled up? So the an alternative version of the of the event yes. that we would have got from the official document. Definitely. And there is, um, you can cross-reference, there are lots of points where you can cross-reference the secret history with the, the wars. So, oh, that, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely, I mean, there has been, there was doubt years ago about whether it was written by the same author, yeah. but I think that, that's, that's not a question. Chris, it's been wonderful talking to you, and really best of luck for the future, and yeah. you know, the, the MA goes, goes well, and that, well, who knows what might come afterwards. We'll see. Certainly we'd like to... Uh, Hear a little bit more about the secret history. Yes, well, I hope to be able to uh, to provide the information. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.